Oh, quick. Come on. Oh. Welcome everybody to the infected. This is Captain Beard. Uh, we are starting a new series. Uh, version 10 of the infected is getting ready to come out. Um, the dev did put in his notes that it's going to be four to six weeks. Uh, you will not need to have a map restart. So I figured, you know, this would be the time to get started on it. That maybe by the time version 10 comes out, we'll have some resources built up and we'll be able to, you know, do some of the new stuff that's coming out. Uh, so being that said uh since this is the very first day we are going to have to get some resources now there are some things uh that can be done g you can hide the ui that shows you health stamina and sun resistance uh the sun resistance is something that is new to me i really don't know what that is uh first things that we are going to want to do though is go around let's pick up some rocks find some sticks we do have some tools that we are going to have to make uh like the uh axe i believe it is or pickaxe and a spear and then uh, we're going to start having to collect some resources just to be able to get started on the base one of the nice things about the infected it came with a previous update not too long ago is we are now able to build along the cliff sides so i'm thinking about building right over here uh get just something up small and get it rolling uh, we are going to have to go around and uh, pick up a lot of the blueprints which you can find in the towns so towns will consist of like right in this area over here over here they're scattered all around the map now the pickaxes that you do see here these are locations of where you can set up mining facilities to build an auto mine and then we also have four different locations of caves and there are certain materials that you can only get in the caves so they will be important for us to get so let me find stick here this is our tutorials task we also have the compass it has all of our food everything that we need to have you know you have to have your proteins carbs fats vitamins you do get them from different foods that you eat so now let's craft the stone axe. Your bag is very limited at first. And uh, you can get a bigger one. Uh, eventually what we'll do is we'll go and we'll get the uh, kill the gators. And then create a backpack from the gator hide. It's about double the size here. If you ever have a question as to how to make something, you can click on the books. This is all your construction materials, placeables, and there's different tabs for that as you can see. Itempedia is all the different items that you can craft or what is in the game. And it will show you as to how to make that. So as for like the stone axe, that takes one stick, one small stone. So then we go back up here. This is our little crafting table that we have that is portable. Click that. Now your item will automatically go into the back of your backpack. One of the things we are going to have to get early on is getting up a saw table so that we can... Can make planks planks is a very big part of the game and we are going to have to get them in is that a cave over there kind of looks like it no nope, it is not so let's see here what does it take to make the saw 
Well, the saw bench. The game does create ghost images. Now we're going to want two. It takes quite a bit to uh, make these. This takes four wood logs each. So we'll put these in there. So we're going to cut down a few trees here. You can only carry three logs at a time. Now you can get a, uh, a cart type of thing. And you can carry logs in there. You can carry chests in there for like the stone and stuff. Alright, so now that that's in there, we all we do is we put the log on there. goes through, it cuts them. And it will create the planks. Now, I believe you get two planks per log. Yep. So let's go ahead. I'm going to cut some a bunch of these down. I'm going to get a bunch of planks made up. And then I will be right back with you. Alright, so I ended up making up another one because I know how much stuff uses planks. So I went through, I got all three of these done. I made a couple log stands that will hold logs. Um, as you progress through the game, you're going to have tons, and I mean tons, of these logs. Um, the nice thing about this game is when you have a log, you can expand. You go down and you hit harvest. Now this will make sticks which is very useful for uh, many different things, along with firewood. Uh, the other nice thing that the game does as well is if you click on the firewood, you can then harvest that firewood, which then makes even more sticks. So, I mean, that's just a really nice feature that it has uh, to help you build and expand your building. As you cut trees down, you get things like bark chips and plant fiber, uh, you know, to be able to make various other items, you'll end up using, uh, having so much of the bark chips, you end up tossing that out. Same way with plant fiber, um, but they are coming out with more medical stuff that you can use that plant fiber for. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create a stick holder as well. So we're going to go up here, we're going to go to placeables, go to storage, and as you can see, we have a plank stand, stick stand, firewood stand. I want to get some stick stands going here. So we're going to place, uh, we'll go with two of them. And we're going to fill these up. I am one short. Right, let's pick up that stone because that will be very important. Uh, you'll be using a lot of stone on this game. And we're going to grab the rest of these sticks here. Let's fill that up and let's start laying these out here. Get these filled up. Not so much concerned about the sticks right now. I, I will be needing to make a spear. So let's see what we need for the spear. Now, there is three different types of spears. There's the, spone, the stone spear, the bone spear, and the steel spear. Obviously, we are not going to be able to make these two right quite yet, but we are going to do the stone spear. So we need a stone blade, three sticks, and fight uh, plant fiber, five of them. Uh, it says that we need the stone blade. Now, how you get the stone blade... go to your crafting menu you put that in one stone in there it crafts a stone blade so now let's go ahead and grab three of the sticks I believe it said three did it say three let's see here I don't remember to be quite honest three sticks five plant fiber Okay. So 
so let's get these in here. I know that there's a way, I believe. No, I could have swore that said, oh, five plant fiber, okay. And now we have the stone spear. So our next item of business is, is we need to get some form of shelter up. The uh, best way to do that is, let's go in here, wood foundations. Now I am going to just make a little bit of temporary housing right here just to get us going. So let's go ahead. Yeah, this will work. I mean, it is only temporary. And just to give us some room to be able to work, we're going to make it a 2 by th 3 area. And what do we need here? We need 4 logs, 6 planks. Things are not cheap on this game I will tell you that much um, it does create some of a grind uh, but it is very rewarding as you uh, complete your items you can build some really cool bases on here uh, there's things like glass the developer has created a uh, a lot of very cool stuff that it can go on some of it has animation some of it doesn't but the textures are just he did an amazing job he, i swear to god this dev he does not sleep and the content he puts out as fast as he does is just remarkable all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get at least these four here and get some walls up at least that's going to get us out of the the rain oh now i am encumbered i typically would be more concerned about the encumbrance but since i'm right next to it i'm not too worried about it Go ahead, grab that. So now there is definitely cooking, obviously, but but they, uh, you know, you have just your regular cooking. But there is a stove. And, uh, you know, that brings in other foods as well. Now, the way to get the stove is to... Is to go find the blueprints. You have to go to one of those villages. Now, the enemies that you deal with on this game is your wildlife, such as bears, uh, pigs, um, the gators... You know, various other little animals. And then there is the Vambies, which, with the dev, the Vambies is a cross between zombies and vampires. Um, let's... I think I'm going to put a door in right there. The towns will have Vambies in them, along with other wildlife, but... They, they will also come to your base. Now, it is set up by default that every 10 days they come to, on the, well, the first, after 10 days they come and they do kind of like a horde base. Um, and then three every three days I will get a horde attack and they will 
try and destroy stuff. There is different defenses that you can use. There is, uh, like, spikes, um, obviously, your own weapons. There, There's upgrades to your buildings to help with the f with the mammies destroying your stuff. Um, there is... I believe that's it for the defenses. But you can also upgrade the defenses as well. So I think what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and get the rest of this shelter up. Um, so that we can get up out of this rain. And then we're going to work on getting towards a little bit of food. Get that rolling. And uh, and try and get some food in this belly. we got to be able to find some fruits and vegetables. To get our fats, our vitamins up, our carbs up, our protein up. And uh, I will see you then. Alright, so it is starting to get dark out. Um, there's really not any real big dangers. You can sleep. However, I do not have a bed yet. Uh, let me take a look. See what it costs for a bed. Uh, furniture. I know I'm going to need it, so I might as well just place it up here now. I don't think it's too terribly expensive. Let me see, just six planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep and get back up and finish getting some materials and getting the place built. And I will see you then. Ugh. It is morning and we are in our ghost house. Uh, when you do sleep at night, it really takes a hit on your thirst, your foods. So we need to get some form of food going on before I can actually finish this house. I am going to drink, however. But uh, let's, I do see a sheep in the distance. And we are going to go try and take him out, maybe. He is on the run. Uh, let's... Try and get them. Come on. Oh, quick. Come on. Alright. Harvesting them is just a simple E. Do want that bone. I don't have enough room for that animal hide. Um... You know what, I'm going to get rid of the bark chips. Because I don't need that many. I want that animal hide. Uh, I still can't get it. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. Alright, we'll have plenty of other opportunities. So let's get back down here. One of the things you want to look for while you are out and about is like plants that are growing for like the watermelons, um, regular melons, pumpkin, I mean not pumpkins, potatoes, corn, but I'm not seeing any right off of the bat though. Uh, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. All right, let me get the rest of this stuff built up, and uh, I'll get back to you. And there's our first melon plant. I'm going to go ahead and harvest him. Go to our food bag. What you want to do, we don't want to eat that yet. I'm going to throw it back down on there. 
you want to expand harvest it and then what it does is it puts it back in there with them split in half I believe we get seeds yes we did so then when we get our crops up we can get some melon seeds planted Early on in this game, it is a grind to get started. I mean, but it's like that for just about any game. You know, so if you're jumping on this game for the first time, expect it to be. It's going to be a little bit of a slow takeoff. Always is. Um, you know, but it is an enjoyable game. And when you start getting the resources that you need and building up on them you can build some just really cool stuff and i believe my pickaxe has broken so let's see here what do i have i have all the items so let's grab a stick and i'm going to make another stick here well axe real quick and get back to it now you can get like weapon stands uh so we can build up there is upgrades for the axe uh to where it is iron so that will help out with the durability that will come in time all right so one of the things i did forget is that you do have to boil the water um in this game you can set your campfire down however rain will put out the fire they do have what they call a shelter we're going to be putting this in so let's get this put in what do we need for wood logs i am over encumbered no i am not is it because i am extremely thirsty i don't think the rations let's go ahead and eat the melon that will retain some of our water we're going to get this campfire down and we are going to get some water boiling get this meat cooked up as well the bigger trees uh let me see like that one right there versus you know uh one of the smaller trees like that i have been cutting down they will give you more logs whenever you break them down so it's actually better to to go that route but you take what you can get food let's get this in what do we need uh so i need to go grab some more small stone now i can break this down um, but i don't want to break down and get all that extra stone because uh, at this time I do not have anywhere to put it in order to make a uh, stone crate uh, you do have to have nails which then we need the iron and so we need to have the forge for that first and it looks like there is a cucumber plant up here so we're going to go ahead and take that and a watermelon very nice gonna need every bit of that so let's continue to look for some stone um when you get out into the woods it's a little bit harder to see that stone not so bad uh in these areas i still have not seen a corn now they did add a onion plant um on the previous update and i've watched some other guys on youtube and they seem to have a harder time finding those onion plants so 
that's another stone. Let's see, I think that might be enough. Okay, and then we need some firewood. Now there is a little trick, if I remember correctly. Well, we can get all that. But there is wood like uh, that's laying on the ground, and you can you can uh, break that up and get uh, firewood as well. I'll show you as to what that looks like. Especially since I need more. I believe it was this. Uh, maybe it wasn't. Um, boy, it seems like I remember. Yep, there it is. All right, so we got that. So let's fill this up. We're going to go back over here. Now, that bucket can hold 200 liters of water. Now, your flask that you have only holds 60. So until you can get things built up, get like a sink and all that, you know, you're going to have to kind of go back and forth. You can get a bigger container. Um, I want to say it holds 200 liters. So we're going to stick with a, just the 180. Uh, because if we fill this up, then we're still going to have some dirty water left in there. And we don't want that. So let's... Uh, should we... You know what? I'm going to throw some sticks in here get this started my guy is so thirsty uh i can't keep the stamina up let's switch over let's grab the sticks put it in there let's start it up while we're at it we want to throw some meat there next to the fire we're going to get ourselves some proteins now, if you look at your food, it shows everything that it gives you. You know, as for thirst, carbs, fat, vitamins. Uh, so that's a good way to know what you're able to, what you're getting out of that food. Now, it does say... Clean water. So am I going to get clean water now? I did. So let's get something to drink. Oh, he's doing much better now. Alright, so another good source of food for you to be able to get is you can go down water. Now, this might be a little dark, and I'm sorry for that. But you can find fish. And if you just hit E, what he will do is he will put it right in his... In his inventory. And then we're going to go out here. And the way that you do this is you take this out. You throw it down onto the ground. And then you harvest it. And then you have raw fish. Now there is um, other food that you will learn later on oh, that you can use this fish for that. Um, let's grab our meat. It is cooked. And then you can also use 
that meat to uh, biodegrade and it turns into biofuel and which you need that to feel like your mining machines your extractors and uh, other things that require fuel as well so we do have a shelter it is not much it is home though it's going to be home sweet home and we do have our shelter up for food and have the campfire going and it looks like our food is cooked we're going to put this in here now there is a dryer as well so let's go ahead and put out our fire put out fire yes there is a dryer where we can dry meat and you know that will help food last uh, food does have a spoil time so you know you always want to keep an eye on that you can get refrigerators that will help preserve that uh, there's di two different types of power that you're able to get solar and turbine I mean that's all stuff that's going to be down the road and in the future you know and but we will get there and uh, we're going to have fun doing it as well but this will do it for me we have home sweet home and food so we are going to end it here and if you happen to like what you've seen don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button but this is Captain Beard. You all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.